wineries, breweries, events, and more. Maya Acosta here with Claire Scotty today. Claire, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm enjoying this cooler weather. Oh, this yes. Breeze coming in and waking up, and it's a little colder. And nice warm afternoons, like this is just my favorite time of year. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, the the crisp fall feel is in the air, especially this morning. I walked outside and was like, ah, yes. it's here. <laughs> it just feels energizing. It does. You know, like I feel like I've just been pushed down by this heat yeah. and it's so hard to just get energized. And now I, I woke up the other day and I was like, yes, I have all this energy. <laughs> well, that's great because uh, we need it Yes, to keep us going through these busy weekends that we have ahead of us. Yes, we do. <laughs> so what's going on this weekend? Yeah. So for our breweries, we have West Lane Brewing. They will have Maria's Kitchen on Thursday this week. And they have their happy hour every Thursday. And then on Friday, they're going to have like a local football event. Um, so, I mean, awesome opportunity to support our local warriors. And, you know, hey, go warriors. And they'll have free nachos on Friday. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Who can beat that? Free nachos <laughs> and beer. Saturday, Ethan Chandler is coming to West Lane to perform. And Good Food Gang will be there. Over at Local Craft Beer, they ha always have their musical open mic night on Thursdays with some delicious food. Friday through Sunday this week is Lupita's Hot Tamales. And every Wednesday, Geeks Who Drink Trivia Night starting at 6.30. Over at the Cantina, which is the collaboration between Old West Brewing and Mango House Lounge, they have Taco Thursdays every Thursday. And they have some new brews on tap. They have a Big Claw, which is a black ale infused with cold brew from one fine day oh very cool yeah so i don't know how many people out there enjoy um like a coffee like a dark coffee beer mm -hmm. but it's it's so perfect for this time of year yeah and it's always delicious it's one of my favorite <laughs> types of beer to drink and then they have a red mare, which is a red ale with Mexican chocolate. Ooh. Right? Yum, yum. And then they have their Mango House IPA, which is a West Coast IPA um, brewed with fresh mango. Sweet. So, yeah. So delicious beers over at Cantina. And then we can't forget this event coming up where we're going to get to taste all kinds of beer from oh, yes. all over the place. Brews on the Mountain, mm -hmm. hosted by TVRPD. Over at West Park, September 21st, and you can go get tickets at tvrpd.org. Awesome. Yeah, awesome I hear event. they're going to have <laughs> lots of live music and some food as well. So it'll be a fun event to, if you're not much for, you know, brewery hopping, you've got it all there at one spot. So it makes it nice and easy to try all of these delicious breweries that we have in the county. Yes. Woohoo. <laughs> Heading over to our vineyards, we have Dorner Family Vineyard. They will have Tom Carlson playing on Saturday and Steve Hill playing on Sunday. And they have tri-tip sandwiches featured this weekend along with their charcuterie and dipping trays, gelato, um, slushies. You know, until weather gets a little bit cooler, then they are probably going to break out their glue vine. Ooh, yum. <laughs> I can't wait for that. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> Tehachapi Winery has their happy hour every Friday with 20% off wine purchases. And they will have charcuterie and Mosner sandwiches available all throughout the weekend. And their whole tasting room is just so comfy, cozy right now. Um, just a wonderful place to go and relax. And they have a fall festival coming up October 12th. So they keep adding to all the amazing things happening at this fall festival. It will take place from 2 to 8 p.m. So we know that October 12th has a lot of stuff going on. You're going to oh, have yes. a road, an Apple Fest rodeo, the Apple Festival downtown. You're going to have carnivals. There's a quilt show. Like there's so much happening that weekend. But this fall festival goes until 8 p.m. Okay. So you could hit up the Apple Festival. Then you can go hit up this fall festival and then come back into town for some carnival fun. Like there's, there's a little something for everybody all throughout the day. And to add the cherry on top. We also have a an event that's coming back for the first time in a few years, the Stargazing Party. Ooh. It'll also be that Saturday of Apple Festival weekend. So that'll obviously be at nighttime <laughs> once the sun goes down. And it'll be a really great opportunity to get your kids out there. It'll be held at the Tashpi Airport. And there'll be all sorts of cool displays and obviously some great 
stargazing so yes. so much to do this awesome. weekend that is, weekend is nasa gonna be there too i believe the so. last time they yeah. came that was so cool yes so displays oh. from them and awesome. some um <laughs> cool airplanes that kids will be able to check out so really interesting event oh man that's gonna be the weekend man wow <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um but heading back to tashree winery at their fall festival they're gonna have wine and beer hay rides live music all kinds of shopping from local vendors and grape stomping okay i love that <laughs> right it's like i love lucy okay you get to get in a barrel and stomp grapes i mean how fun is that <laughs> that is a ton of fun right so don't miss that that's so fun <laughs> um Tatchby wine and cattle company they've moved into their fall schedule so they're no longer open on fridays but they still have amazing stuff happening the rest of the weekend saturday dave mordigian will be playing from two to five and sunday joey strader will be there from two to five they have that amazing menu with tri-tip sandwiches santa maria style with the salsa oh, it's so good so many wonderful things to choose from and of course wine slushies and all kinds of stuff for sweet dessert time as well yum <laughs> yum over at Stray Leaves, they have an event actually today. Okay. So if you're listening to this, check it out <laughs> right away. But it is a um, chinoiserie vase. Okay. Uh, I, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that right. I looked it up last night and I was trying <laughs> to figure out how do I pronounce this? Chinoiserie vase, which is like, you know, those white vases that have the beautiful like blue asian oh, yes. de decor like on the, it like the drawings. china plates yes yes only it's a beautiful vase so we're gonna learn how to how to do that and then how to de um, design the flower arrangement in the oh. vase so it's it's really cool um, it's 60 dollars, and you can sign up at classyflare.blog and it starts at 5 30 at stray leaves today awesome. located downtown yes over at triassic they have a paint night friday night it is sold out. It's the little witch hat. They have oh, like the yeah. sorcerer's hat that reminds me of Harry Potter. Um, very Halloween-y, very autumn. I love it. And uh, it, it is sold out. So if you see other paintings coming up and you like them, make sure you sign up for them because I feel like this is the time of year <laughs> that people yes. are, they're getting their autumn decorations and, you know, their holiday decorations and all that good stuff. Getting in the crafty spirit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> On Saturday, they will have Mean Jean performing at 3.30 and Claudia's catering will be there. And then on Sunday, all throughout the weekend, they're going to have uh, charcuterie boxes available to purchase. Great. Los Viajeros is having their last event of the season. It is their Oktoberfest and German night. So super fun. September 21st, it is already close to selling out. So please call 562-229-6349 to see if you can grab those last minute tickets. Mosner Catering will be handling all that authentic German cuisine. Yum. And it's going to be a really, really fun night. Nice. Yay. So that is our breweries and our vineyards. Um, we have a few things coming up this weekend, but even more things coming up this month that you want to put on your calendar and maybe um, reserve <laughs> if if you need to get tickets ahead of time. Yes, absolutely. There is a ton to do. So what do we, what's going on? What do we have? Yeah. Well, we know our local public library always has fun stuff going on. On Friday, they have Teen Manga at 430. Saturday at 11, Try Sewing. Tuesday at 10 is toddler time. And then at 4, ASL Club meets and talks about a specific topic. And then at 5, Lego Club is there. On Wednesday next week at 11.30, ASL for Kids. So this is an opportunity for little ones to start learning very basic ASL. And I know my daughter really loves learning this. She loves being able to um, speak with her hands. And she also has a little friend who, uh, who uses ASL at home all the time. Oh. And so it's been wonderful learning back and forth. And Alicia has been uh, learning a lot from her. That is awesome. And so it's so cool. And this is a great opportunity for kids in our community to expand and learn a little bit something different and something very useful. Awesome. <laughs> um, at four o'clock on Wednesday is a game night. 
And then Thursday at 11, preschool story time. And at 4 o'clock, family movie. Ooh, do yeah. we know what movie it'll be? I, I, had, I did not see what movie. Okay, so, a surprise. <laughs> yes, it'll be a surprise. It'll be definitely worth checking out. Yes. <laughs> Over at Fiddler's Crossing, they have Folk Night this Friday with Tucker Brown and Django. They're going to be tuning it up. I mean, uh, whenever they get together, it's so fun. Oh, yes. So that's super fun. It's at 630 at Fiddler's Crossing, which is located right here on Robinson and F Street. And it's $10 cover charge. And then on the 21st, Lazy Dog Mountain Band will be performing at at Fiddler's from 7 to 10. And that's a $20 fee. Sweet. Yeah. And we know Kids Day is coming up yes. this Sunday. I am so excited. <laughs> Super exciting event. I am really looking forward to it. I am I got the chance to stop by last year, and uh, it was just such a cool, like, I had no idea what to expect. Um, but the Tatchby Heritage League does such an awesome job pulling together all of these various community organizations and putting all the on these super cute crafts and activities that the kids can do. And it is just a ton of fun for kids of all ages, myself included. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I, I think I'll probably have more fun than my daughter. Right. But <laughs> I mean, check this out. So they have 20 activities that they have set up for everybody, including making bird feeders, beading bracelets, quilting, soap carving. I remember doing that when I was a kid. I was like, this is so cool. <laughs> Turn a dove bar into like this awesome work of art. And then you tell everybody in the house, you cannot use this right. as soap. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have sheep decorating, uh, player piano pumping, which I'm really curious what that is, <laughs> and weaving. So, so many things. And we have have representatives from so many parts of our community too, and Learn, learning about railroad safety, emergency services, bees. My husband's um, bee radar just <laughs> went off. <laughs> he loves uh, he loves all of his bees. He's a beekeeper and he um, harvests honey, and so he loves sharing information about bees. So I'm sure he would love to go meet the the people talking about that. Yes. And then we have therapy dogs, amateur radio, all kinds of fun stuff. On, you know, Honor Flight will be there. Um, there'll be a scavenger hunt and grand prize drawings where you can win something from Darlene's, Carlos's, Kite Sweet Treats. It just, it goes on and on. And it's going to be so much fun. So <laughs> Sunday at the Heritage League Museum at noon. Be there. Yes. Be <laughs> there. Be there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's an awesome opportunity, too. If you've never even just visited the museum, you know, on a normal day, you can do so. Both the um, museum portion and the Urea house. They're both so cool. And uh, I've learned a ton that it's just not necessarily common knowledge anymore of, you know, how Tatchby came to be. And they do a fantastic job of holding on to that history and teaching it in a way that's very easy to digest. Yes. I love it. <laughs> I think there's something else going on. Yes. Yes. Saturday. So on Saturday, the 14th, um, we have a very interesting event. So if you were one of the folks that came out to Green, Green Street Get Down, or maybe you missed it and you're like, dang, that looked like so much fun to get out there and dance my booty off, but I didn't get the chance to, <laughs> we've got another opportunity to do so. So this will be in Bakersfield. It is the end of summer line dance fest at the Fairfax Grange. So the connection here is Granges used to be these dance halls or community centers where back in the day, people, especially farmers, would go and um, build a sense of community. Since then, these granges have pretty well disappeared, except for this Fairfax Grange. There's a lot of Tatchby history from our Tatchby Grange down at this Fairfax Grange. Ooh, so right. you can learn a little <laughs> bit about how um, people lived back in the day and uh, a bit of that Tatchby history down there in Bakersfield. So that dance is an all day event. Doors open at 9 a.m. The event is from 10 to 5 p.m. at the Fairfax Grange, which is uh, located at 4 Fairfax Road in Bakersfield. And it'll be a ton of fun. There's going to be three different line dance groups and um, just a great opportunity to get out there and do some dancing. So if you're interested, you can um, purchase tickets online. It is $20. And if you just search up the Fairfax Grange, it'll take you to the website where you can do so. Awesome. Interesting event. I mean, I feel like you could probably just step back in time, you know, going to this event and, and learning so much about, yeah, our history here and history all over Kern County and, and then have some 
have some good times. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and and hu- humanity has always known how to have a good time. So <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, there's a few more things happening this month that we want to make sure you know about. Our Tehachapi Amateur Radio Association is doing this Whopper Wednesday, every Wednesday, and it's an o- open to the community event. So we're going to go to Burger King right here on Tachi Boulevard, and you can meet and chat with real life ham radio operators in a nice casual setting. And I know a lot of folks, me included, when I see a giant radio, <laughs> I get really intimidated. Sure. <laughs> and and I, I also have a little bit of anxiety when it comes to speaking with people on air that I, I don't know, but yeah. it can be really fun. Um, but but radios can be intimidating. So this is a really cool opportunity to just go in casually. You don't have to say or do anything. You can just kind of listen in and see how other ham radio operators talk. Sure. I mean, like, you know, what, what do they do? And one of the coolest things about having a ham radio for me is that I could talk to people in the space station <laughs> as, they're, awesome. as they're heading over. I mean, how cool is that? Super like, cool. That's really cool. So there's so much that you can do with ham radio. If it's emergency preparedness or talking to somebody in Japan, you know, there's so much there that people don't know. Right. And so this is 1 p.m. every Wednesday at Burger King. And it's, it's super casual. So um, the T-A-R-A is inviting everyone to come out and just check it out. Yeah. What a great way to do so. Uh, and I have to have to give a little, a little plug, I guess. Um, I've been working on my ham radio license uh-huh. and I will be taking my test tomorrow. Oh, well, good luck. <laughs> so, thank you. Um, it's a lot of studying, but it's, it's really interesting stuff. And mm-hmm. um, I'm learning it so that when I do the Apple Festival mm-hmm. or Mountain Festival or some of these bigger events, Wind Fest, Wine Walk, I can really stay connected yeah. with everyone else and all of my volunteers and everybody out there. So if if I, if I have to run over to the chamber to grab something or I have to run over and, and take care of something else, I can still hear what's going on mm-hmm. and I can communicate. That's you awesome. Know, so it's, it's a wonderful way to keep these events going smoothly and safely and to keep everybody in the know at all times. Yeah. Um, so I'm very excited. Uh, but we'll see how my test goes tomorrow. <laughs> well, good luck. <laughs> I've been definitely stretching the brain cells. <laughs> so <laughs> Hopefully soon you will be a certified ham. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Yes. All right. So happening on September 21st, a couple things are happening. Wood Family Funeral Services is doing their senior fair from 10 to 2, and that will be over at their facility on F Street, um, kind of over by Mill. And they'll have their doors wide open, balloons everywhere, you know, but this is an opportunity for seniors in our community and caretakers of seniors to get tons of resources and information. There is a lot out there, but we just really don't know where to look for it half the time. Right. So this is a really great opportunity to check that out. Yes. And we already talked about Brews on the Mountain happening Mm -hmm. on the 21st. Very exciting. On the 26th, our California Correctional Institute is doing a special event where there's going to be, you know, health, wellness, all kinds of vendors in our community and outside of our community that offer services. And so this will be from 10 a.m. to 3.30 at the prison. Um, There'll be a visitor's parking lot, and they will kind of guide you and tell you where to go. Um, But it is really kind of cool to go over there. I mean, it's a historic location right and so it's it's really kind of neat to check it out and go to this event and at that same time there will be a blood drive by Houchin. so head over there maybe do a little shopping learn a little bit from our community and save a life by donating blood yeah and if there are any a time to visit a prison this would be it this would be yes <laughs> this would be the time because you don't want to get in there any other way no exactly <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and if we jump back to the 21st, Saturday, September 21st, we also have Bark for Life. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. So that'll kick off at 10 a.m. The walk will start at 10 a.m. Um, you can register day of at uh, starting at 9 a.m. You can also register uh, online ahead of time. But it's a great event fundraising for the American Cancer Society to help find a, a cure for cancer. 
Um, so this is a unique fundraiser of sorts because mm. you are invited and encouraged to bring your dog out there. Yeah. Um, decorate your dog in some purple costumes mm-hmm. and um, go on a short little walk. And it's all for a great cause. And uh, what a wonderful way to get some exercise, get your dog out and about and um, connect with the community. Yes. And a huge shout out to Canine Creek, who is always a big supporter of this wonderful event. Yes. <laughs> I love it. All right, so a little bit further into our month, September 28th, there's a couple really fun things happening. We have the Emergency Preparedness Community Fair, which I guess in itself is not a fun topic because you don't always want to think about an emergency but if you're prepared you it is you're 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 ready to go i mean yes. then that stress of being like oh my gosh what do i pack what do i need you've already got your bag mm-hmm. everything's ready you know exactly what to do and so if there is an emergency like a wildfire or a hurricane <laughs> right then you're ready to go and you know what to do so this is an awesome opportunity. It's at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And this is the second time that they are doing this. And it was a huge hit last year. So this event has grown. And you're going to learn how to be prepared from different local agencies. They're going to be telling you all about things that you can do. There's going to be free drawing for preparedness items and a free hot dog lunch. So 10 to 2 at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which is located at 600 Anita Drive. Yeah, and I think this is a great resource because I think a lot of people may have that emergency preparedness kind of either at the forefront of their minds or kind of peaked in their subconscious with all of the fires and other emergencies that have happened in our general area recently. So this is a great way to learn the, um, you know, those skills and what you need to be prepared for those situations. Yes, yes. Super, super important. And then on the same day, Thunder on the Mountain. Oh, yes. Yes. So exciting. So Thunder on the Mountain, I think there's almost 200 cars that have registered for this event now. That's awesome. Yes. Uh, they're coming in every day. Everything from pre-1939 vehicles to modern cars, um, you know, trucks, off-road vehicles, Volkswagens, low riders, rat rods, race cars, anything under construction, you know, Mopars motorcycles from like vintage American and foreign just all kinds of really amazing vehicles out there and we're going to be able to see them all cool and then one thing that's also cool is there's a young blood class which is for kids and youth in our community from 16 to 21 who have been working on on an automobile and so maybe they're really passionate about it. Maybe they've been learning from their parents or, you know, guardians. And this is an opportunity for them to strut their stuff and show what they've done and show everyone what they've learned. So um, everyone is encouraged to submit their car and register. You can register at thunderonthemountaincarshow.com. And this event will be from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday, September 28th. There will be a live band, Smokin' Jack Primo will be there, uh, rocking down the street. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see beautiful cars lined up on Green Street and F Street right down here, downtown to Hatchpy. Awesome. Yes. And we're really excited and thankful for our checkered flag sponsor, First Priority um, Vehicle Registration Services, and WM as well. They've been a huge supporter of this event. And of course, thank you, City of Tehachapi, for supporting us and being there and and really helping with this event too, because we couldn't do it without you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, absolutely. We are looking forward to it. (laughs) Yeah. Um, And then we know that, you know, Apple Festival is right around the corner. Yeah. um, But we want to make sure everybody knows that they can get a couple tickets ahead of time. So the Apple Drop tickets, we know Apple Drop will be happening on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And so this is a huge fundraiser for the Lions Club and Rotary here in our community. So um, Apple Drop tickets are only $10. You get a ticket and then that ticket is assigned to an Apple. And on Sunday, there's tons and tons of foam apples <laughs> that are dropped and whoever's apple lands on the winning mark you get all kinds of fun stuff there's a thousand dollar walmart gift card five hundred dollar home depot gift card other local gift cards for people you know people's apples that end up close by <laughs> um it will start at 4 p.m on the 13th so make sure you get those tickets now you can get them 
from any Lions Club member that you know, any Rotary member. Rotary Club meets every Thursday at noon at Kelsey's. Mm -hmm. And then you can get them during the festival all day Saturday. And if there's a few left, you can get them on Sunday, but don't wait that long. And then you can also look at them. Um, Lions Club members will be there at Albertsons on many of these weekends. So if you see them, snag a ticket. All right. <laughs> and then the carnival is coming to town. I know a lot of people miss the carnival on Mountain Fest weekend. Mm -hmm. um, we know the carnival had to move a few years ago due to COVID. Right. So we are going to enjoy them on Apple Fest weekend over at the rodeo grounds. And you can get tickets, early tickets, unlimited rides for a, for a day, $35 at the chamber. Awesome. So yeah. Yay. So Exciting. you can go to attachby.com for more information. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So many things happening. So many things. And we thought things were going to slow down. Uh -huh. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, Claire, as always, thanks so much for bringing in all of this information. There's so much to do. And, um, Wow. It's just great to look at how many different organizations in our community are putting on so many great events and activities and how our wineries and breweries are always keeping us busy. Just a fantastic place to live and be. Right. And I have to say, I've been having a hard time keeping a straight face during this episode <laughs> because um, behind me, there's this little gray alien that's yeah. been peeking at us. And <laughs> and I know Maya's been having a hard time keeping a straight face. And so we feel like we have to share this with our audience. <laughs> yes. Claire has a little creature peeking over her shoulder. You'll see in the uh, thumbnail photo what we're talking about. But um, yeah, we've got aliens all over the room and we're I think getting in the spirit of Hall Halloween a little early, a little which old. I love it. Yes. I mean, <laughs> why not? Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, every time I walk into the room here, I get a little bit of a start because there's a little alien peeking his head out of the door to our closet here. <laughs> so fun. It, there's never a dull moment here. <laughs> no, we always keep things exciting. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Maya, for having me. Of course. And if people need to recap the events and activities that we talked about today, discover to Hatchby for all of that information. Um, you guys do a great job on your social media of making it easy to follow along and plan your weekend out. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You can always find us on Facebook and Instagram at discover to Hatchby and all the, the vineyards and breweries, everything they have going on is, is right there. So awesome. Hey. <laughs> and if you have any sort of activities or events that you want added to our list as well, be sure to email us media at tatchpcityhall.com and we will make sure to talk about it. As always, thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you back here next time on Tatch Pub.